What's up, boxing fans? This is TBE Boxing back at you again. Today's topic clout chasing gone wrong. Sean Porter cornered, forced to fight Crawford by the WBO. Let's chop it up and see what it's all about. Okay, boxing fans, uh, let's talk some boxing today. Uh, we're going to talk about this uh, upcoming, supposed to be upcoming fight between uh, Terence Crawford and uh, Sean, Showtime Sean Porter. All right, so uh, the latest in this on again, off again fight is that uh, there's going to be a purse bid because we all know uh, the WBO mandated this fight uh, for Terence Crawford to, to face uh, Sean Porter and uh, they gave him 30 days to negotiate the fight or it's going to go to purse bid. Now the 30 days are up or it's going to be up shortly or it is up, it has it is up now currently and they're going to do a purse bid on september 2nd and they're going to do it live which is almost unprecedented i believe so there's a lot of controversy surrounding this upcoming fight if there's going to be a fight we don't know uh you know uh this whole fight between terence crawford and sean porter you know got started a long time ago but before we get into all of that Okay, okay, we're gonna we're gonna drop some receipts. Okay, so before we get into the details, let's look at some receipts, and so we can get everybody up to speed on, on what's been going on. Let's check it out. Well, nobody in the alley but me and Bud, and Bud didn't back down. I just had to say, all right, I'm gonna just walk this one off, Bud, because <laughs> because Bud is the truth. Bud is the real deal, holy field, whatever you want to say. I know it. I squared up with him in an alley, and we faced off, and, and he had his knuckles, both of them, as tight as he could get them, and he went, huh? No, nah, that was Colorado, OTC. <laughs> and that's who he is. So when you can do it in front of thousands and thousands of people in pay-per-view, that's great. But when you by yourself, and you ain't got nobody there with you, and I'm six weight classes more than you, and you standing there like, yeah, let's go. He's the real deal. And uh, I'm here to do this as long as I can and be on top as long as I can. I have to throw it out there. Where does Crawford fall in line? Are you potentially fighting him? Uh, myself and and, um, and Terrence, you know, if, if that fight is, is made, it's going to be made because myself and Terrence want that fight made. Um, you know, I'm not calling him out. Uh, I respect him. I'm not afraid of him. But I will tell you that he is uh, definitely overlooked in the welterweight division and definitely one of the best fighters out there in the world. Is the Spence you fought last September at Staples, would that guy be Crawford or from what you know? That guy you know? was was very good. Mm -hmm. He was he was good to the point where the last round, I, I, we came in, we touched gloves. Normally it just touch gloves and you fight. But I, I touched gloves with him and I said, I said, I said, good shit, boy, because it, the work was that good and the night was that good and that competitive and I, and I wanted it and I could tell that he wanted it too. Um, does that fighter beat Terrence Crawford? That fighter was strong, that fighter was very good. I saw some holes. I saw, I saw that I was a step ahead of him, a majority of that fight. And with get, saying that, no, I don't think that that fighter can beat Terrence Crawford. Mm. But I've already said that in a match, I don't think uh, Errol Spence could beat Terrence Crawford. I think that Terrence wins that fight. I think he's got more in his arsenal. Hey, End of 2019. Hey, Did you not say that? All that? Did you not what? say that? That's this, what this is what I'm saying. I read it all. This is what I'm saying. Say. This is what I read it all too. Terrence Crawford, wait, wait till he get a belt. Yeah. He ain't did nothing in the world to wait to do it. You when he get a belt, belt, when he get a belt, you you wanna you go over there. Keith Thurman wanna go over there. And now y'all wanna say, oh, I ain't for nobody, but I got a belt now, so why? Okay. Sean okay. Porter got a belt too. Also, oh, so now Sean Porter got a belt too. So why so why why go to easy road and not Sean Porter out? So why, why, so why am I go to Easy Road and not Sean Porter out? 
So why am I, so why am I go to Easy Road and not shine Porter out? Why wouldn't I? Why wouldn't I? Look at this dude. You why smart. wouldn't I? You a smart Can we be done with everybody else but Terrence Crawford? Can we just do Errol Spence versus Terrence Crawford? I mean, that, that could happen. We got to see how it go. But, you know, like I said, I can move up to 160 and fight Canelo Alvarez. <laughs> You got any questions right now, Carson? Yeah, so the, let's get the elephant in the room addressed. So the number one question in multiple forms and varieties and everything is you and Terrence Crawford. People want to know why you haven't initiated the mandatory status, what's I going on? I spoke to my dad just on Wednesday, and I, talk, I said, hey, have you talked to um, AH? And he says, no, uh, we, we haven't talked in a little bit. I says, uh, have you, do you, have you thought about anything? As far as the mandatories are concerned, we will know about activating these clauses that they're that I've been seeing in the news. And he says, No, I don't know about that. Let me give him a call. So that was Wednesday on Wednesday. Okay. So there it is. Receipts. So, like I was saying, this whole fight uh between Sean Porter and uh Terrence Crawford actually happened because Terrence Crawford was calling out Errol Spence. Okay. So uh a lot of Errol Spence fans didn't like that idea at all. <laughs> okay, they said they said that uh Terrence Crawford hadn't fought anybody, you know, uh he need to fight other people first. He need he doesn't deserve a, a, a title shot against Errol Spence this, that, and a whole bunch of other nonsense, okay? So that's basically what happened. So they were saying, oh, well, you need to fight somebody like maybe Kel Brook first or whatever. So, so all right, so Crawford fought Kel Brook, not Kel Brook out. Oh, Kel Brook was washed. Uh, uh, Kel Brook, uh, you know, he, 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 he was damaged goods, this, that, and the other. Uh, Sean, I mean, Terrence Crawford needs to fight somebody like Sean Porter. So this is how this all got started, okay, with, with uh, Sean Porter, you know, fighting Terrence Crawford. So after all of this talk, people start talking about, you know, uh, Sean Porter fighting Terrence Crawford and talks, you know, YouTube start talking about it, then eventually picked up speed. And, you know, naturally, with his name in the media, that is Sean Porter, you know, being, you know, throwing around, you know, next to Terrence Crawford's name, you know, he got a little nor notoriety because of that. So. Uh, the fans are pushing it, so naturally he picked it up and started talking about, you know, uh, he want he actually wants to fight Terrence Crawford, and that, uh, you know, uh, he would love that fight, and that's the fight he wants, and he's chasing that fight, and that's the only fight he he, he wants, basically, or Errol Spence, supposedly. So, uh, you know, naturally. Uh, the fans, you know, uh, Porter, uh, uh, the, the Errol Spence fans loved this whole thing. So, you know, that they didn't want to start it in the first place. So now, Porter started, you know, talking about fighting Crawford. And, you know, he started talking about how he could knock Crawford out and this and that. But the problem with all of that was the fact that although he was doing all of that talking, and although he was the number one contender uh, for Terrence Crawford's belt, Sean Porter never made any move towards actually activating that mandatory or initiating that fight. As a matter of fact, he went so far to say that he doesn't even know. I mean, this is a boxer who's been boxing for like a decade now. He doesn't even know if the mandatory is a real thing. What the, what? So this is what Sean Porter said on his own podcast, you know. By the way, check out the Porter podcast. It's a pretty good podcast, got some good topics on it. So anyway, he said he doesn't believe it's a. It's, it, it, he doesn't even know if it's a real thing. But so the WBO mandated the fight with Crawford to show him, I guess, that it's a real thing. So now it's a mandated fight. Now naturally, uh, Sean Porter doesn't have to fight because the man, the man, you know, the mandate is strictly on Terence Crawford. If Terence Crawford refuses to fight, he loses his belt. He gets stripped. But Sean Porter can refuse to fight, and nothing's gonna happen. Nothing is gonna happen to him. Okay. And so we have what we have been watching, you know, ever since the WBO was mandated to fight first, uh Sean Porter came out and said that he was surprised. Now, why would he be surprised? Uh, he, he tweeted that he was surprised that they, that they mandated the fight. And uh, you know, uh 
<laughs> he was surprised and you know that they mandated the fight okay so how could he be surprised that they mandated the fight if this was a fight that he'd been chasing and this is the only fight that he said he wanted how how could they how could they you know uh, i i just don't understand that okay why would he be surprised but he actually deleted that tweet later on i guess because i guess people were saying what, what, what do you mean surprised you, you've been chasing this fight for over a year supposedly but he wasn't actually chasing the fight he was just cloud chasing because his name was out there getting thrown around with crawford spent the whole nine yards and you know it, it's more notoriety and so he he, go, he went along with that to the point where terence crawford even said you know he, he think you know that that sean Porter is talking kind of slick you know because that which is what sean Porter was actually doing talking kind of slick he was out there you know I, I, yeah i could knock for I, I could probably knock him out and there's you know a whole bunch of talk but again nothing toward making the fight actually happen now it got to the point where since uh sean Porter didn't do nothing the whole time which is over like over a year actually that he was a mandatory okay since he did nothing to, to make the fight happen and you know uh making that fight happen was totally within his control if he actually wanted to fight he could have made the fight but he didn't make it okay and so he got bumped down and virgin ortiz got bumped up virgin ortiz you know his camp is talking about fighting corporate also but there it's all talk okay none, none, of, them, none of them is really trying to uh fight corporate virgin ortiz he's out there talking 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 but his own camp say he's not ready for Crawford yet. So, you know, it is what it is. But let's get back to this uh, Sean Porter situation. So now uh, that the fight is mandated, we haven't heard much from Sean Porter about the fight. Okay. It's been total silence. Uh, and, and to explain his silence and the fight, I mean, now, if this was a fight that you really wanted, and this was a fight that, you know, you were chasing, actually chasing, you know even though you were surprised when you actually got the fight which means that you wasn't actually chasing the fight if you were surprised because if you was chasing the fight you would know that you was going to get it okay but you weren't really chasing it so that's why you were surprised and that's why when people call you on your surprise you took down that 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 you know you delete that that tweet because it looks it looks crazy to say you're surprised when you're supposed to be chasing this fight okay for over a year so this is so now the fight is mandated we haven't heard nothing about the fight from sean porter we haven't seen sean porter have like terence crawford come on his, they're supposed to be friends he haven't had sean porter come on his podcast and they talk about the fight and, and build up the fight and you know get the fight going they're not even negotiating for the fight the fight had to go to purse bit okay so it, it is what it is so uh at this point we're not even sure if sean porter is going to take this fight okay we're not sure there's no guarantee okay uh not much has been said and it got to the point now where they have to they look like they're making the purse bid public to force sean porter's hand you know uh to take you know in, into taking the fight because I, he hasn't said that he he, he accepted the fight yet I, I haven't heard sean porter say yeah they, you know he talked about the mandate in the fight, but he hasn't said he, he said he's going to let the business play out, whatever that means. Okay. He's going to let the business handle how this fight is going to proceed. I mean, uh, maybe he's talking about the first bid, but who, who knows? But, you know, that's what he said. So it's going to first bid and it's going to be a public first bid. And at, at, at this point, you know, we're not really sure if the fight is actually going to happen. We're going to see who picks up the fight. If uh, PBC once the purse bid, once we get the purse bid on, we'll 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 start to get an idea of what's really going on and who's doing what. Okay. Now, in Sean Porter's defense, he did say that you know he doesn't really talk about fights when you know whenever he said whenever you ever heard me talk about fights you know negotiations in the fights you just see the fight come up and the fight happen and i just go and fight you know you know okay all right sean fine okay we're gonna take you at your word at that okay that, that's your style you don't really talk about it okay fine i'm not gonna push the you know i'm not gonna push it we're gonna wait and see so the first bit is september 2nd so we're gonna we should know more after that okay but again again you know uh <clears throat> The bottom line is that Errol Spence, you know, uh, was supposed to 
be taken. Basically, what it comes down to is that the protection brigade, the aerospace protection brigade, is protecting aerospace, and they've been, they've been doing it for like three years now, protecting aerospace against uh, Terence Crawford, and so they keep pushing other fighters in front of him every time he call out uh, aerospace. So every time, every time Terence Crawford calls out aerospace, they're pushing another fighter in front of him, and sometimes. Uh, Errol Spence pushed out a fighter himself. Like he'll, he, he's quick to push Canelo out there and say, "Oh, I'm gonna go up and fight Canelo," but he hasn't, he hasn't been making no move to fight Canelo whatsoever. Okay, that fight. <laughs> but he always says that when he asks him about Crawford, "I can move and fight Canelo," you know. So you know, this is the kind of game that's been played in boxing right now. So at this point, you know, uh, Sean Porter is the sacrificial lamb to see, they want to see how good Crawford really is, you know, so now my thing is that if Crawford knocks out uh, Sean Porter, we can get, that, that's going to be guaranteed that we're not going to see the Errol Spence fight, okay the only way I'm, we're not going to see that fight if Crawford knocks out Sean Porter because Errol Spence has been ducking Crawford for three years you know, he, he moved up to, to he moved up to welterweight and challenged Crawford. He challenged, I mean, he challenged Spence. He challenged uh, uh, Thurman. You know, he called out everybody basically in the welterweight, and everybody avoided him. Okay, said you know he hasn't done anything in the welterweight yet. Now I, I've never heard nothing like that. I, fighters move up and challenge other fighters all the time. Okay, Yoko Gamboa moved up from lightweight to challenge Crawford. Okay, uh, what's his name? Uh, what's his name? Uh, Shane Mosley moved up from lightweight to fight the Asuka de la Hoya. Those guys didn't say, oh, you haven't done anything at lightweight yet. Uh, you know, uh, I mean, you haven't done anything at welterweight yet. You need to do something at welterweight before you fought me. No, they moved up and, 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 and went straight to the title. Okay. So there's all this talk about, you know, Crawford having to do something before, you know, fight somebody else and do, fight more fighters or better fighters. It's all nonsense. It's all bullshit. Okay. It's just protection brigade for Errol Spence. Errol Spence do not want to fight with Crawford because him and his team do not think they can beat Crawford. And it's just as simple as that. You know, the simplest explanation is usually the best. Okay? And in this case, that's the simplest explanation. All this talk about this, that, and the other, it's all nonsense. Okay? Like I said, Shane Mosley moved up from lightweight and fought this after De La Hoya. Big fight. Did after De La Hoya say, no, you're on the wrong side of the street? Or uh, did he say that, oh... No, you, you haven't done anything at, at, at welterweight. You got to fight somebody at welterweight. That, that, that whole idea is bogus. There's no such thing. Okay? It's just an excuse to duck Crawford. Okay? And it is what it is. So at the end of the day, you know, uh, like I said, Sean Porter is becoming a sacrificial lamb. Okay? <laughs> and I, think, I don't think he's going to, he, he wants to go willingly. He looks like he's, you know, dragging his feet. Because you know, I, I don't think he really wants this fight uh, with, with Crawford. I mean, I mean, you know, it is what it is. I mean, action speaks louder than words. Okay. Now, and 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 really, Crawford don't really want this fight with uh, with uh, Sean Porter. He's just doing it, to, you know, to set an example for the, you know, for those people out there who questioning his skills. But you know, he doesn't really want to fight Porter. Okay, because him and Porter is really friends. You know, and he doesn't really want to, but he's gonna have to fight Porter. Uh, because uh, Errol Spence is ducking him, okay, and so they want to say they're going to say now, depending on what he does with Porter, then you know uh, they're going to see about the fight with, <laughs> with Errol Spence. But we don't even know what is going to happen with Errol Spence anymore at this point. His career is in a flux right now. You know, the eye injury. We don't know how it's going to play out in the end. If he can fight again, if hopefully he can fight again. But if not, because I want to see that fight with Crawford. But you know, not that I think it's going to happen because, like I said. Once, uh, if Crawford beats Porter, that fight is going to be put back even further, and you know they're going to wait till Crawford reach ninety. But again, like I said, we don't know if Errol Spence will be able to even fight again. Now, what's going to happen with his career? You know, it could be over as far as we know. Hopefully, it's not, but it is what it is. And you know, as for Sean Porter, you know, Sean Porter was making plans to fight Jamal James and some other guys out there. He he wasn't thinking nothing about fighting now. Uh, uh, Terence Crawford, he was just, like I said, it was just, I mean, I, I'm, I'm not trying to, you know, belittle uh, Sean Porter, because, you know, I like Sean Porter, okay, he's a guy, he's a good, he's a warrior, he's one of the best guys in the welterweight, but we got to call these guys out when they do the things that they do, 
Okay, we can't play games. You know, you know, I, I like Sean Porter, but I can't play any games with Sean Porter. Okay, I'm not gonna play his game. I'm not gonna play that game about you know, you know, making excuses for fighters. Okay, no, I'm not gonna do that. Okay, and I'm not making an excuse for Errol Spence either. Okay, just like I would make no excuse for for, for Porter. I mean, for uh, Terence Crawford either. But you know, hopefully we see this fight with uh Sean Porter because it would be a good fight, I think. Uh, hopefully he doesn't, you know, back out of the fight. And then again, it might be, it might not even be him backing out so much. Even though I, you know, I, I, I just think that maybe sometimes it could be just his team, his camp. Maybe he's, I mean, not his team, but you know, is 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 uh, there maybe he's getting advice not to take the fight. We don't know. It, it could be politics, okay. But you know, if that's the case, then you know, uh, I don't know what to tell you. All I can say is that a lot of fights happen. Uh, between top rank and and PBC and you know they make these fights without any problem whatsoever. Okay, so I don't see what the what the problem is with the fight with Errol Spence, other than the fact that Errol Spence don't want the fight, and it looks like Carl and it looks like uh, Sean Porter don't want the fight either because I, I don't blame him. I mean, why you know why does he have to fight Crawford when Crawford is really after Spence? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I, I agree with him. Okay, but you know, let's see what happened. Uh, I'm gonna leave it there for right now. Uh, make sure you like and subscribe to the channel. Okay, uh, go to tbboxing.com. You know we have a Patreon, we have a, a Cash App. Uh, like and subscribe to the channel. Okay, uh, hit the bell icon. Uh, this is TBE Boxing. That's all I have for right now. I'm out.